Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Today I'm in the town of Helmets because last time we got the mighty My Mic skill. So let's go ahead and uh, use that. Oh. Yeah. Who knew? Oh, making noise here is inexcusable. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and try that. Whoa. Yikes! Steel dragon of the battles of the earth, Titanius! For boss time! Yeah, we're starting the super bosses today! And, uh, we haven't even gained any levels or anything. Like, we're still around, what, like level 40? Oh, okay, level 44. That's our, uh, force point average. So, first things first, with Maravel, there's really no special setup here. I want to use the guillotine spell that we got last time, because he is weak to instant death! And then I definitely want to use a lucky card with cannon. And then with Tim, huh, he has another instant death spell. Yeah, Arcana 13! Whoa. Yikes. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Thank you. Yeah, we should be fine. We'll probably kill him this round. Like, this is the easiest of the boss fights. So that's why I want to do him first. So, you know, you can get some levels and uh, other stuff like that. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? No, it won't. Come on now, Tim. You can do it. No. Great, that's just lovely. Okay, let's take out Cannon, we'll bring in Ashley, because Ashley also has an instant death attack. Yeah, his dead or alive skill. So if you wanted to kill this guy, like, the right way, he's kind of a pain, and you'd have to wait for quite some time in order to do it. Um, let's see, actually, let's have him use an ex his accelerator and then go for dead or alive, because I want it done, like, first. And, uh, let's see, we can count 13 again. Um, because this guy, he revives his HP every three rounds, and he has 75,000 HP. So you'd have to go in and hit weaknesses. I believe that he's weak to wind elemental attacks, um, and just, like, continually go through with, like, dual casting high vortex and all sorts of other stuff like that, which is kind of a pain to have to deal with. Um, so that's really, like, the proper way to kill this guy, but, I mean, you could just kill him with instant death spells, so why not? If one of these would ever actually stick, that would be great. Really, game? Really? Seriously? Ugh. Okay, let's try it again. Keep on going. Let's see, uh, we can accelerate that dead or alive. And Tim, I think that we need a first aid, because I don't want Tim dying. I want everyone to get as much experience as humanly possible. If Tim dies, I'll be re-recording, because, yeah, I don't want to have to deal with all that. Okay, yeah, this is the third round, so he's just, again, gonna regenerate, but we haven't really dealt any damage to him, so he doesn't, um, heal anything. And honestly, he would end up healing all of his HP. It's not just a portion, it is all of it. So, yeah, instant death is really, honestly, the way to go here. Wow, come on now. This is crazy. Oh, oh, I guess I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, you can just attack. Build up your, uh, force points there. Yeah. I can't believe how long this is taking. Oh, Barrier, who really cares? Yeah, if you were trying to take him down, like, the normal way, and then he caused a Barrier, you'd be kind of screwed. So, it's pretty much you get him down within the first three rounds, or you don't get him down at all, um, as far as taking this guy out using Wind Elemental attacks. Please? Really? Seriously? Like, come on. This is kind of crazy. I, I, I feel like I should just kind of meet you whenever he's dead. I mean, like, I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, and if I need healing, that's Tim's job. Because we're not gonna die from this stuff. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Um, and, I mean, he's... Oh, was that it? Was that it? Was that it? Woohoo! Yes! Sweet! Okay, don't have to do any editing. Awesome! Ooh, 100,000 experience! Whoa! And it looks like three levels for everyone and the Mighty Shooting Star, the best weapon in the game for Ashley. Okay, awesome. Hey, do you have anything else new to say? Probably not. Oh. 
yeah, well, well, you know, we're pretty strong. Hey, so let's go ahead and equip that uh, shooting star on him. Look at that attack power boost. It's so good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is um, head on over to a personal skill shop, probably max out my up parameter, and then we're going to move on to the next bonus boss that we have. Okay, I made my way over to Holst, and then to the closed mine shaft. Let me go ahead and go over my setup. My party for this new fight is going to be Lilka, Ashley, and Tim. As far as their equipment is concerned, I want Lilka to be the main magic dealing um, caster in this party with the Holy Tablet and the Dandarium Rune. Um, as far as Ashley is concerned, I give him the Amulet for extra luck. It really doesn't matter. And the Guardian, Arish Salto, for extra attack power. Tim, he needs survivability, so I give him the Gauntlets for the extra physical defense power. And Chipanga, because, you know, just has good stats all around. So with all that being said and done, I think I am ready to roll. But who do we have this time? Whoa, Bodyguard Monster, the Kobold King. Yikes. This guy has 85,000 HP, so yeah, we're in for a long haul here, but it's not too bad. Okay, first things first, with Loka. I want her to go ahead and cast, where is it if I can find it? Shield on Tim, definitely. Um, Ashley, just attack Tim. I'm going to have you use a ba -da -ba -da, hype weapon on Ashley. Yeah, get that going on as soon as humanly possible. Ashley is going to be your main damage dealer. As long as Tim can survive, we should be fine. 44 defense power isn't all that much, but hey, it's, it's all I got. You know, it's better than nothing. Hopefully it'll be enough, because his physical hits can deal roughly 4,000 damage unguarded, so hopefully that will, um kind of push me on through. Whoa. Whoa, look at that damage. Whoa. Yeah. That's why Tim has to be in the party for first aid. Next things uh, that I want to do is use a lucky card before I forget. Uh, Ashley, keep on going with attacking. Tim, first aid. Definitely. At this point, Tim is pretty much going to be using first aid just about every single round. Um, the only time that I wouldn't have him use first aid would be if everybody's at pretty much max HP. Okay. Let's see how Ashley does with, uh, attack power. Oh, not that bad, actually. I've got to say. Yikes! Hey, he survived! Sweet! Okay, Loka. Um, at this point, is there anything else that I really want you to do? You know what? Actually, there is something I want you to do. Armor down. Let's see if we can't get that to stick. Uh, you can go ahead and access Tim first aid. Hopefully armor down sticks. If armor down sticks, that would just be amazing. I'm not holding my breath for it, though. We shall see. Love the new music. Oh, it's so epic! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, okay, actually, it's stuck. Hey, hey, awesome! Loka probably could use a heal, but it's not that big of a deal, because Loka is now on the attack using Saber. Ashley, keep going. First aid. Um, you don't really want to use elemental spells against this guy. He is strong against fire and ice magic, um, but Saber works wonders against him, I've got to say. Oh, hey, he missed. Sweet. So Tim can probably go ahead and use some sort of magical attack against him, just not fire and ice. Maybe some light magic or something. Ooh, whoa! Look at that! Uh, damage from Loka. Sweet! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have her keep on going with that. Ashley, keep on going. Tim is going to defend, because he's prepared to attack, and I am afraid that if he does attack Tim, Tim will die a horrible, horrible death. So hopefully defending will help him out there. So if this if if we can keep this up, he should be down in roughly eight rounds. Come on, Tim. Woohoo! You did it! Nice! Yeah, that's what I love to see. Sweet! Oh, yeah, so this guy isn't really that bad. He pretty much just has a ton of HP, 
As long as you are smart about what you do and you take it slowly, you shouldn't really have any problems uh, taking him down pretty, pretty nicely. Again, have all your magical buffs on Lilka, have all your defensive buffs on Tim with shield as well as the gauntlet accessory, and a, um, a guardian that has um, some some uh, vitality as well. You know what? Let's dual cast. Well, if I dual cast, I'm going to cast Saber next round, so let's not do that yet. Just keep on going with Saber, keep on going. Uh, Tim, I guess you can go ahead and try to do something. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Maybe. Oh, non elemental attack. Hey, uh, we'll go ahead and use Cosmic Ray. Why not? Got nothing else to do. It's not going to to heal this round anyway. We haven't even seen Cosmic Ray either, so it'll be a nice chance to show off that spell as well. If we're so good, I may have Loka double cast next round because, uh, number one, I want to show off the skill, but number two, I kind of feel like this guy is pretty much dead at this point. Wow, Tim, that was pretty pathetic. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Damn. Okay, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and use a uh, high revive. Tim, Ashley, go with Mad Lucid. Oh, wow, Ashley's faster than Loka? Please don't kill him, please don't kill him, please don't kill him. Please? Woohoo! Yes! I want everyone to be alive for, uh, this experience. The last thing I need is for him to die. Ugh. And now all of his FP is down, so because Tim's FP is down, Loka's gonna take over healing, but I still don't need him to heal, so that's fine. He can just go ahead and attack and try to, uh, gain up some FP doing that. Or, you know what I probably should have done? He's used a tiny flower on him so that he would get the 25 FP immediately, so he'd be able to use first aid next turn if need be. So if I still don't get enough FP this round, I'll go ahead and use that, um, or mini carrot, not tiny flower, mini carrot. Tiny flower is the thing that raises your luck. I don't need that. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, hey, well, he got his FP that he needed. Uh-oh, this thing does tons of damage. Yeah, look at that. It's crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and use a high revive on him. And I'm gonna have Ashley defend, because I don't want this guy to die without giving Tim the experience. It is imperative that Tim gets every last iota of experience he possibly can get. Would you quit picking on Tim? Come on now! Damn it. Ugh. Ugh, this is not good. Oh, yeah. Okay, just defend. Whatever. I wonder if there's... well, there is. Actually, I could use, like, some sort of analysis thing. I think that Shooter Dark has analysis, and that would allow me to, um, see how much HP this guy has left. Oh, thank you! Yes, please! Somebody besides Tim! That's just great! Okay, look, uh, let's have you dual cast Saber, Ashley, Mad Lucid, Tim. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, we'll have you use a mini carrot just in case. got him down this round, though. I mean, how much... What is this? Oh! Whoa! Sweet! Yeah, sometimes when you use dual cast, it actually creates a new spell. I was thinking that was like a new ability uh, from the monster that was going to use it, and I was like, I've never seen that before. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, levels up all around. Ooh, and a new weapon for Brad, too. And I've made my way now to the Wind Tiger's Den. Let me go ahead and show you that new weapon that Brad got. The Omega Crush. Look at that attack power on him. It's so good. And then I have my party as Loka, Ashley, and, and uh, Tim for this next um, super boss that we have coming up. This will be the last one that we'll do today. For Loka, she's kind of my secondary caster. Tim, my main caster. Ashley, have the Earth Ring equipped because this guy is weak to Earth damage. And yeah, we're going to crush him. So, let's go ahead and get started! For the Limb from Limb Ripping Monster, Zolinge! Kind of a strange title, but sure, whatever. There's two parts to this boss. He has a belly worth 50,000 HP, 
and the um, Zolinch himself with 75,000 HP. So first things first that I want to do with Loka, let's go ahead and have her use a, uh, actually, let's have her use the Hype weapon on Ashley. Ashley, attack the belly. Tim, we're going to have you go ahead and use the Lucky card. Yeah, because hopefully, oh no, shoot! Oh, thank God! Oh man, yeah. Oh, good thing that that didn't happen. Okay, this guy, his boomer ripper, his ripper boomerang thing, whatever, can cause instant death. And it's a real big pain in the ass. He also has many other attacks that also randomly inflict instant death. That's the main reason why I brought uh, Tim around. So let's see, Loka, just go ahead and attack the belly. Ashley, yeah, keep on going against the belly. Tim, so what you wanna do is cast Thanatos X. It protects from sudden death and it's good on everyone. Please don't kill him, please don't kill him, please don't kill him, thank you! Okay, now that no one has died, we should be fine. Because his regular physical hits really don't do all that much damage and we're dealing 10,000 damage a pop with Ashley with the Earth Ring equipped. So yeah, not bad at all. Use the high break. Ashley, keep on going against the belly. And Tim, how much? Okay, you don't really have enough, enough FP, but you could go ahead and use Rock Bolt against the belly as well. Deal some damage there. Please, waste your turn. You know how much I love that. And I put the high break on the S craft, or the S uh, crest, so that it deals 50% more damage than it normally does. Ooh, critical hit. Hey. Whoa, 16 damage with Ashley. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, this guy is just down for the count. One of these bosses have a weakness, and I know how to exploit that weakness. I mean, come on. Why are that belly still alive? Seriously? Uh, oh. Huh. It'd be nice to be able to uh, use Graviton, because that can hit, um, all enemies, and that would include the belly as well. So, yeah, I'm really not concerned about that damage. That's the most pretty much the highest damage that he can inflict against me, and I'm fine. I mean, my guys still have plenty of HP to um, sustain anything, any, any other punishment they could possibly put on me. So yeah, not concerned at all. If you could, you, I mean, I could go ahead and use a, um, a first aid with Tim. It's not that big of a deal, though. Maybe if we get hit with it another time, then I will. But right now, nah. Okay, the belly's gone. Let's go ahead and have an access. Tim, um, we can go ahead and use Graviton. I mean, why not? Might as well. This RF blade, in addition to dealing roughly a thousand damage to everybody, also um, has a chance of inflicting instant death on your party as well. That's why it is imperative to use Thanatos X against this guy, unless you want to be using um, high revives over and over and over again with Lilka, because that's the only other way to really counter this. But hey! And, yeah, this is pretty much how he's going down. This guy, I mean, he only has 75,000 HP, so it shouldn't be that much longer until we get him down. Tim, go ahead and use first aid, just in case. The last thing I want to do is die unexpectedly, because I'm not paying any attention. Great. Thanks, game. Thanks. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Damn it! Ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna be fighting this guy again off screen so that Tim gets the um, experience. Because that's a lot of experience points right there to give up just because he died. Ooh. Hey! And a new rod for Tim. Too bad he's dead. <laughs> But we're going to be taking on more hidden bosses next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. Oh, didn't mean to do that. What I wanted to do is uh, show off this new disc dims. But yeah. Uh, but again, I'm going to be fighting them off screen. So see you guys.